This isn't what I was looking for, but it'll do. We'll explore this place. It is something indeed. Got him. I got him. No, I got him. Whatever. <laughs> We're just gonna constantly argue about that, aren't we? His tongue is going crazy. <laughs> Zach, I think I'm still on fire. Please help. You gonna be okay there? Yeah. I just wait this out. All right. Yeah, you're good. I don't see anything useful over here. Maybe we need to go deeper. Boom! Uh. Boom! Boom! Oh, that's a big gecko. All right, we're gonna sneak up on it and just lay into him with this thing. This ought to be good. We're so sneaky! Whoa! All right, Firetooth's dead. Firetooth? Yeah, that's that's what his name was. His name was Firetooth. All right, I'll let you walk along this perilous, slip, slippery slope. Hey, I found another dead body. It's a powder ganger. He's got some beer and a lever action shotgun. I'm actually into the lever action shotgun. Let's take a look at that thing. Yeah, I can get behind this. I'm behind it right now. See? You're gonna keep on holding on to your other shotguns while you're using that thing? Oh yeah. Forward, Mike. With oh, what the? F How are you supposed to get over there? Maybe there's another path. I'm just missing. How would you describe if you met an alien that had no concept of humanity or anything, but he understood English? How would you describe how to jump to him? Uh, the upward propulsion of your legs with the contraction of muscles. That's probably a good way to describe jump. How would you describe it? Squat your legs together and then extend your legs outward rapidly in a motion propelling you upwards. Hey, there's a bunch of plants growing down here. Oh, more geckos. Oh, sneak! Ooh! Now you are the one that is on fire. Mike, I'm on fire. Oh! So we got a river of blood, um, a pail, a uh, dead cow. Mike, you're standing in the blood. Yeah, more, more importantly, there's a dead cow over here. Well, yeah, but yeah, but it's like surrounded by blood. Yeah. You're what? standing in it. Yeah. You're gonna smell bad. We've been on the road for three days without a shower. It can't smell much worse. All right, if you say so. You know, long ago, my grandpa told me, boy, always remember to staunch your tunnels. Staunch your tunnels? Oh my god, this is a lot of geckos! That's okay, we have a lot of bullets. Hope, no! Hope, oh, what, are, what you are you doing? Oh my god, Hope! Oh, Hope it's unconscious. Hope can be the bait! I can't see anything, it's all fire. It's okay, everything is good, everything is fine. Oh my goodness. Well, that was different. Where are you? I'm taking a nap, how are you? Oh, I'm real hurt. Now I'm not so hurt. Um, oh, you're, you're... Shh, 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 shh. No talking. I'm resting. Yeah, yeah, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> that looks <one's> so weird. <laughs> hey. Hey what? Lever action shotgun Mark II. Is it stronger than the Mark One? Uh, uh, let me take a look real quick. Slightly stronger? Yeah, it's two points of damage increase on seven pellets. You want some metal armor? You'll move slower, but you'll have more damage resistance. Nah, I like light armor. I actually gave you the majority of the dynamite. Well, aren't you just a benevolent friend? Yes, I rounded up in your favor. There were 13 sticks of dynamite, and I gave you seven. Well, I'm glad you didn't try and give me six and a half sticks of dynamite, because that could have gotten messy. I don't really want to saw an impact explosive in half. Oh, this lever action holds seven rounds of ammo. Does it now? Indeed it does. So you'll be able to kill one and a half things before I have to come save you. Yes. What's your favorite cave? What's my favorite cave? What kind of question is that? I found a... Oh, there's Sergeant McGee. Hey, Sergeant McGee. So we found him. I don't know what killed him, but uh, sure. I, my guess it was probably the geckos. 
Yeah, he had a varmint rifle. Here, we'll take his dog tag and give it to the proper authorities. What cave have you been in that you liked the most? Can we just discuss why why Sergeant McGee was out here in the first place? I don't know. There's, um... Oh, that might be what killed Sergeant McGee. I think we found what killed Sergeant McGee. Well, no, they're dead, so they couldn't have killed him. He must have killed them, but then what got him? Maybe, um, if we do a quick battlefield assessment here. Maybe these sandlit because I have not seen one of these alive yet, so maybe they breathe fire. That could be. And then he died due to fire DOT. Yeah, he killed them, and then they breathed fire upon him. Well, they had already breathed fire upon him, and then he died due to fire DOT. Damage over time is what you're yes. saying? Yeah, sorry. That's my guess. You but... and your Dungeons and Dragons terms. Hey, you know, Dungeons and Dragons is not just for nerds, okay? The amount of people that are really into guns that are also super D&D &D nerds is amazing. Did you know that? I did not know that. Yeah, a lot of gun nerds are super... Well, it's like right in the name. So yeah, they're like super nerdy. Maybe that's just confirmation bias because you hang out with a lot of people that are nerds. Oh well, I guess we'll just... Why is Lieutenant Hayes just walking around? Maybe he's going to go find Sergeant McGee and see what happened to him. Wasn't there a point, like, when I was playing this on PlayStation a lot, right? Yeah. Wasn't there a point where you came over and I showed you where I had just found Lieutenant Hayes walking around? And then we'd go track him down and no, see no, how no. far we, we launched we, him. No, no, no. We did that with two people. We did that with Lieutenant Hayes and we did that with Boone. And Boone was, invin uh, was invincible. Boone was invincible. Lieutenant Hayes wasn't. So yeah, we, we were just trying to see how far we could get Lieutenant Hayes' body to go. What we first did was we were having fun with Boone, if you remember correctly. We were just... We brought Boone with us to the middle of nowhere. We put dynamite and landmines all around him, and we detonate him, and we'd watch him fly away. It was so fun. It and was fun. And then Lieutenant Hayes just kind of walked on by, and he was just kind of walking across the Mojave. And we were like, what's this guy doing? So we just got ahead of him by a couple of miles, put a bunch of landmines and dynamite down in front of him, and we walked and then, back. Yeah, when he walked on it, it just blew up. And then we went, to, and then we made a game out of trying to find his body. Remember that? Oh my god, that was like three hours of trying to find his body because it would just go miles away. <laughs> you won't admit you love me, and so how am I ever to know? You only tell me where the hell is my shotgun. California sunset. Oh, this is normally here. Yeah, but this guy isn't. No, these guys aren't. Who the hell are these people? Hey there, Baldy. If Pollock says you're okay, then we can talk. If what? If Pollock? Pollock says you're okay? Chainsaw. Look over there at that big white space. Tell me, what do you see? Are you talking I see, to- I see the word da scribbled in the corner. Well, yes. But pretend that's not there, because it's terrible, and makes me embarrassed for whoever wrote it. Erase that, and what do you have? That's right. A canvas just waiting to be painted. Oh, his name is Pollock, and he's supposed to be Jackson Pollock the painter. I don't get that reference. I um, guess I'm not cultured enough. Jackson Pollock did the paintings of, like, splatters on canvas. Oh, okay. Yeah. Am I an artist? <laughs> Do bloat flies eat shit? Uh, no, really. Do they? I feel given their size, they would have moved on to some better smelling prey. We heard that this place used to house a lost technology. Something that could take pictures and make them move. Knowing this, a lesser artist might try to recreate what was lost. But I propose something else entirely. What if the pictures were like these cars? What if instead of moving, they stood in place. <laughs> Wouldn't that be the perfect metaphor? Am I not a genius for thinking of it? I mean, sure, man. He's your... So he just wants to paint a mural on this blank screen. Yeah, he just wants to paint stuff. I, You know what? I'm just going to indulge his fantasy. I see. It's a metaphor for the end of mankind's progress. Exactly. Time itself has stopped. And that is what this piece will convey. He's going to want me to go get him paint. Why do, you, why do you say that? Because he hasn't started painting yet, and that's just my guess. <laughs> because first, we need a vision. We need inspiration. We need... We need paint. Right. That too. We don't have any paint. <laughs> he needs paint. He needs paint. But maybe that's where you can help us. To start, 
will need paint. See if you can find a bucket at the old rest stop on Nipton Road. Nipton Road, fetch the bucket. Okie dokie, Artichokey. Fetch? You make it sound like some menial task. Okay, well, <laughs> I guess we're, um... I guess we're gonna go get some paint. Duh. <laughs> okay, I guess we're gonna go get some paint from the Nipton Road rest stop. Let's go get some paint. That's that's kind of funny, actually. Oh, there's a ghoul. I see a ghoul. Think you can take it? Oh, yeah. Ghoul It's time. not a ghoul. What is it? Ugh! It's some kind of abomination. Oh, it was actually a zombie. What is that? Some kind of gorilla? No, oh, oh, my goodness. Got him. So, Hope has no weapons at all. Does she have any ammunition for that weapon, or did you take it by mistake? Check it out. I got slugs and magnum rounds for this shotgun. Magnum rounds? Oh, yes. Yes, indeed. This stalker is weird looking. We yeah. should probably put two of his bottle cap or two bottle caps over his eyes to pay no, no, to no. pay this toll on the river sticks. No, no no more of your pagan rituals. Let's just get this job done. Oh, come on, man. Pagan rituals are fun. What's your favorite pagan ritual? Ah! Where is that coming from? I hope it's not Pollock. I actually want to see his dumbass painting. Ah, that's what it was. It's a, um, it's one of those gross super mutant things. Oh, they're going to go kill it. Yo, we have to save them from the centaur. What, you don't think they're capable enough to do it on their no, own? No, they've got knives. Uh, you're going to need a steam pack for that. They don't know what they're doing. Uh, Chainsaw's got a, some kind of hand chainsaw. I think he'll be fine. Oh, I didn't realize it was a hand chainsaw. Okay, well, yeah, they'll, no, they'll probably be okay then. I did not realize that he was called chainsaw because he had a hand chainsaw. Hand. Now, in retrospect, that makes sense. There are a couple of raiders or jackals or whatever down here, too, so... Oh, yeah, it's this guy on the roof who's shooting at stuff. It's a jackal slasher. Let's screw him up. Got her! Nice! Oh, my God. <laughs> this shotgun is ridiculous! <laughs> I love this shotgun! Okay, we have a couple more to deal with. Hang on. Frag grenade! Frag out! Duck and cover! You didn't get either of them. No, I didn't. Well, I, I'm not very good at throwing frag grenades. And yet you decided to do it anyway. Well, I wanted to try it. Ah! Oh, that's what that submachine gun fire was. The guy that was on the roof was shooting at a bunch of zombies and whatnot. Or at least this one zombie. Well, there's, there's another one right here. A toxic abomination. Well, I'm glad we didn't have to deal with that. And also an ash pile. Well, let's go clear out the inside of this building, shall we? Shouldn't be a problem. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right, I got my inert dynamite. Hey, Zach. Profanity you. Yeah, profanity you too, Mike. All right, let's do this. Go. Eat trinitro tooling, suckers! Come on. I've got eyes on four targets. Ow, I'm, I don't know that's on fire. Everything's on fire. Everything is terrible. On this at Terribilis. Mike, Amy is shooting at us. Who's Amy? I don't know. This person. I think Close she the might... door. Close the door. When, when this person comes to the door, we'll be able to get him. I shot his clothes off, I guess. Uh, yeah, his clothes came off. Anything else? More mantises? Uh, yeah, just mantises. Mantis. Mantises. Mantisai. Mantisisai. What's the plural of mantis? Mantises. Mantises. Mike, I think he should wear his cowboy hat. No, I don't think I need his cowboy hat. I think we're good without it. Nah, I think you need it, though. All right, well, that was interesting. Oh, God, there's more! Like that? Where did these guys come, come from? On. They just walked in. So this is James. Um, well, who's the other person? Ah, Snake. Ooh, he's got reinforced leather armor. I'll take that. Now you're an even tougher meat shield. The three of us used to be jackal gangers, but it turned out none of us like killing folks all that much, let alone eating them. In fact, this painting thing doesn't work out, I'll probably head up to Good Springs, see if I can find some honest work.